Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. So, it's a long month celebration ng ating church. Remember, we are 34 years na po tayo. Yung katapatan, yung, yung kabutihan ng Panginoong Diyos ay patuloy nating nararanasan. So, join us as we celebrate. So, we invite you to sing with us. If you can, just stand up and feel free. Remove those chairs and just join us in the presence of God. Amen? So, let us pray. Hallelujah. Father, again, we thank you for your faithfulness, for your goodness. Salamat po sa kabutihan, Panginoong Diyos. Sinamahan mo kami sa maraming taon, Panginoon. And today, again, we celebrate your goodness. We thank you, Lord God. We give you all the glory and the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yes, you can clap your hands. Feel free to worship the Lord. Amen? Amen. Let's sing this song. Worship the Lord.
Michael Katulad. There is none like you, oh God. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. Lord, there is none like you. We celebrate you. Thank you, Lord God, for calling us, Lord God. And yes, Lord, we want to follow you. We want to declare your glory, your praise, Lord God. And yes, Lord, dahil sa sinabi mo, susunod kami sa iyo, Panginoon.
church as a body let's worship the Lord the Lord is here and he's willing to touch us willing to heal us deliver us men men are broken hearts so come to the Lord and worship him
Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop. Come on, join me. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. Come on, church. Clap your hands to the Lord. Woo! That is who you are. Amen and amen. Um, good morning and good afternoon to everyone. And uh, it's our, remember, it's our 34th anniversary that we're celebrating. Uh, sad to say that we have to do it uh, online, but you know, God is good all the time. So we're enjoying this and we hope that you're going to enjoy this as well. Again, it's August 30, it's August 23, our 34th anniversary. Mm -hmm. We just want to welcome you to today's <coughs> service. Pastor Jim, you have okay, some uh, good announcements? Uh, good morning and good afternoon. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, as mentioned, it is August 23 today. We have two more Sundays so far mm -hmm. as to... Uh, regarding the announcement of our uh, city government and uh, lockdown on Sundays. Uh, on Sundays. Uh, it is, uh, so August 30 and September 6, online service pa rin po tayo. But we have released a uh, survey for, um, what do you call this, uh, in-person services on Saturdays. So we are still, it's in the plans so please do uh, take note of the, the survey that was released on Facebook and answer that survey. Let us know if you are available and willing to attend a in-person uh, Saturday service, which will be at 10 a.m. For now, uh, we are just making the survey. We want to find out how many people uh, would like to attend. And we'll make the decision as to whether we have one or two services, but for now, we are going with one service, which will be at 10 a.m. on Saturdays. But wait for the announcement. Kung tuluing out, hindi. We're just uh, gathering information uh, from the surveys via Facebook Messenger as well as text messaging. Mm -hmm. So you will receive a text message from us uh, if we have your number. If we have your number, sorry. Yeah, uh, remember I asked you to uh, submit your numbers just in case you think we don't have your numbers. Kasi hindi naman po lahat ng tao ay uh, uh, all logging online. So we are trying to make means of reaching out to the people that don't have 
uh, access to the internet. So uh, remember, the survey is whether or not uh, you can attend a Saturday in-person service. And if so, we will uh, make uh, provisions for that. So just uh, listen to or wait for announcements. Uh, the announcement will be made via um, Facebook uh, through our uh, uh, text messaging and messenger as well. Our uh, services will be continued to be broadcasted live mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. on Sundays and then at 5 p.m. on Sundays. So, mamili po kayo whatever time uh, kayo gusto magattend. Uh, so, ganun po. And then also, our uh, prayer service with testimonies I, on Wednesdays, that will be at, uh, we broadcast at 7 o'clock in the evening. If you have any testimonies, feel free to send us uh, a, re uh, a typewritten via messenger, email, or text message. Or if you're malakas ang loob ninyo and you want to send a, a, a video under two minutes that indicating what God did in your life, uh, feel free to send that via messenger or through, through email if, if in case you have our email address. And then um, lastly, uh, within our announcement of uh, broadcasting, yung ating pong lunch break devotion ay Monday to Friday na. Used to be just Thursdays. Now we go Monday to Friday and it's 12.10 to 12:25. You may will be wondering back at 12:10. It's 12:10. So when you, when uh, if you were working at the office on a manantra bawon you, when you clock out at 12 o'clock, it gives you at least uh, nine minutes to uh, get yourself situated and to get your food on the table, and then tune in to what we have to share with you on Monday uh, during our lunch break devotion from Mondays to Fridays. And finally, uh, our office hours are from Tuesday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Just in case uh, you need prayer, you can give us a call, if you know our numbers, of course. Mm -hmm. And then you can send us a text message. You can send us a messenger message. Uh, you can also pay us a visit if you want counsel or prayer. Uh, the office will be open on Tuesdays. Thursday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 9 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. So uh, that's all our announcements. Everybody just stay home if you don't need to go out. So the office is open if you need, but if you don't need to come here, and it can be done through uh, text messaging, messenger, or uh, call, mas maigi, let's do it that way. Or even Zoom, you know, if you really want to see our face or video call, puede rin po yun. So, yun lamang po announcements. Mm -hmm. And our message will be coming from Pastor Arnel. Alright, so good morning and good afternoon to everyone. So, today's <clears throat> message is entitled, Don't Hold Back, Do Something Now. Amen. We're talking about the church, we as Christians. And last Sunday, Pastor Jimmy talked about uh, destroying walls, new mga barriers. Barriers, that was uh, building, building bridges. bridges. Yeah. So after that, it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to move forward. So don't hold back. Do something now. And before that, let let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, again we thank you for this beautiful day that we can celebrate your goodness, your faithfulness. And Lord, as we listen to your words, we ask that you will speak to us, Lord God, Holy Lord. Spirit. Speak to us. We open our hearts and allow you to move and change us, Lord God, and show us, Lord God, as a church, as individuals, Lord God. And we want to give you glory, Lord God, and honor as we continue to live for you, Lord God. And I pray for the listeners, Lord God, that you will give them an understanding, Lord God, and that they will open their hearts to you, Lord God. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, I will start by reading Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 40. When the Son of Man comes in His glory and all His angel, angels are with Him, He will sit on His glorious throne. And the people of every nation will be gathered in front of Him. He will separate them as shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on the right, but the goats on, the, on His left. Verse 34, Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, my father has blessed you. 
inherit the kingdom prepared for you for the creation of the world. And verse 35, I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was stranger and you took me into your home. I needed clothes, you gave me something to wear. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the people who have God's approval will reply to him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or see you thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you as a stranger and take you into our homes or see you in need of clothes and give you something to wear? When did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And verse 40, the king will answer them, I guarantee this truth. Whatever you did for one of my brothers or sisters, no matter how important they seem, you did for me. So yan po ang ating text for this day. And talking about what the things that we have done to our brothers and sisters, sabi ni Jesus, no matter how important they seem, unimportant. you did, unimportant, yes, unimportant they seem, you did for me. So lahat po na ating ginagawa sa ating kapwa, maliit man o malaking bagay, sabi ni Jesus, ginawa mo yan sa akin. Today's topic is, don't hold back, do something now. The Lord is telling us to, to do, don't hold back, church, don't hold back, my people. Do something now. Why? <clears throat> and there's a lot of reason, but three things na gusto kong ilabas ngayong umaga, ngayong uh, pag-uusap natin. Number one, the church was built with the mandate of proclaiming the gospel of Christ. So that's uh, the mandate na binigay sa atin. Second, the world is longing to see genuine Christians, not religious people. And third, the life we have is too short to hold back. So, three things na tatalakayin ko po. Don't hold back. Do something now. And why? So, let's go to number one. The church was built with the mandate of proclaiming the gospel of Christ. You know, the church is to teach biblical doctrine so we can be grounded in our faith according to Ephesians 4 verse 14. The church is to be a place of fellowship where Christians can be devoted to one another and honor one another, Romans 12, verse 10. Instruct one another, Romans 12, 14. Be kind and compassionate to one another, that is in Ephesians 4, verse 12. Encourage one another, 1 Thessalonians 5, 11. And most importantly, love one another, 1 John 3, 11. So that, yan po ang, ang gawain ng iglesia. And the church is likened to a hospital where we can receive healing and encouragement. The church, according to Acts 2, verse 42, is a house of prayer. The church is to be a place that promotes prayer, teaches prayer, and practices prayer. It is a place to celebrate communion, remember, remembering the blood and the body of Christ. Now, another purpose or mission given to the church is this, to spread or proclaim the gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ and to be a witness for Him. So yan, yan po ay isa sa ating mga purpose or mission. This is the mandate given to the early believers and to us as well. Tayo mga Kristiyano po. And you know, the word mandate is an official order or a commission to do something. Hindi po ito galing sa amin o kanino man, kundi kay Jesus mismo. This is our mandate bilang mga Kristiyano. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 19, Jesus came and told this disciple, and Jesus is saying to us today, Sabi niya, I have been given all authority in heaven on an earth. Verse 19, Therefore, go, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Katulad ng sinabi ni Jesus sa kanyang mga disipulo in the early days, ganun din ang sinasabi sa atin. To go and make disciples. To do something the church is called to be faithful in sharing the gospel through, the, through word and action. The church is to be a lighthouse in the community. You know, your lighthouse, pointing people toward our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yun po dapat tayo. The church is to both promote the gospel and prepare its member to proclaim 
the gospel. So yan po ang trabaho natin bilang iglesia. The church is to be about the business of ministering to the to those in need. Lahat na nangangailangan, especially during this time. This include not only sharing the gospel, but also providing physical needs. Kaya nagkakaroon kami ng uh, aros kalye every Thursday, giving them food. So, providing uh, the things that kailangan ng tao. So, not, share, not only sharing the gospel, but providing for physical needs, food, clothing, shelter, etc. as necessary and appropriate. Again, the church is God's hands, Mount and feet in this world, the body of Christ, tayo po. We are to be doing the things that Jesus would do if He were here physically on earth. The church is to be Christ-like or Christ's followers. Yan po tayo. Again, don't hold back because the church has a mandate to proclaim the gospel of Christ and to be a witness to everyone that we come and contact with. So napakalaga po yan. Number two. The world is longing to see genuine Christian, not religious people. You know, the world is dying out there. And I wonder how many people die with sickness or COVID-19 knows Jesus. Ilan kaya sa kanila? Okay. People are hungry, desperate, looking for real love. The world is tired of religiosity. They want Jesus with skin and bones. Ibig ko sabihin, yung, yung pinipreach natin Jesus, mararamdaman nila. And we are, sabi doon, the hands, the feet of Jesus. They want Jesus with skin and bones. Genuine Christian with genuine heart, willing to go the extra miles, are needed badly in these trying times. Kailangan, kailangan ko tayo sa panahon ito. You know, Jesus said, simply lamang po, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, Let your light shine before others. You have the light of Christ. We have the light of Christ. Sabi niya, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works. We are created for good works. And give glory to your Father in heaven. The church is to be a lighthouse pointing and guiding people toward our Lord Jesus Christ for healing and salvation. Nagharap, nagharap sila ng healing, ng salvation, ng deliverance. And we need to point them and guide them not to us, but to Christ. The good deeds that we do should draw people not to us, but to Christ. Every good deeds na ginagawa natin should not draw people to us, but to Christ. Church, don't hold back because people are waiting. Naghihintay po sila. They're longing for the true love. Love that we have received in Christ. Nasa atin po yung pag-ibig. People are looking for light for they have been living in darkness. In, in, in depression, in uh, poverty, and people are looking for light. People are looking for salvation. Sabi ni Jesus, let your light shine before them. Ipakita po natin, ipaalam natin, ipadama natin ang pag-ibig na nagbumula sa Diyos. Again, church, don't hold back because people are waiting. They are out there waiting for the love of God. And Jesus said, go. We have to go. We have to do something. We have the answer. Christ in us, the hope of glory. So number three, last. Don't hold back. Do something now. Why? Because the life we have is too short to hold back. Napakaigli lamang po ng buhay. James chapter 4, verse 14. Sabi doon, How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. Hamog. It's here a little while, then it's gone. Ganun, dum, ganun daw po kaigsi ang ating buhay. It's here today, and then tomorrow it's gone. You know, life is short. Napakaigli po ng buhay. And what a thing it is when you think that you have just one short life to spend and it will soon be over. We know people na kasama lang natin last three Sundays ago and then they are gone. People na kala mo magtatagal pa or never think na uwi na sila sa Panginoon ng 
Ganun na lamang. Because life is too short nga. Life is too short to hate and hold grudges. Sad to say, minsan tayo mga Kristiyano, nag-hold pa tayo ng hate and grudges sa ating puso. But life is too short to hold hate and hold grudges. Too short to spend in pursuing things that don't last. Kung minsan tayo mga Kristiyano, we pursue things that don't last. Too short to waste time. Lahat po tayo guilty that we waste time. The Bible says, your life is like a morning fog. It's here a little while, then it's gone. So the things we ought to do, do it now. Things we have to learn, the books we have to read, do it now. The family needs you, kailangan ka ng pamilya mo, spend more time now. Money you ought, you ought to give, give it now. People you ought to witness, do it now. Wag na po nating ipagpabukas pa. You know, every time the clock ticks, it seems to say, do it now. Do it now. There may not be a tomorrow for you and me. Kasi hindi po natin hawak ang bukas. What we have now is now, just now. Tomorrow, may not come for you, for me, for them. And so the time is running out for all of us. Mm-hmm. The Bible says to redeem the time because the days are evil. The time we have now is very dangerous, chaotic, maraming problema. But you and I, we as a church, we have to shine our light. We have to do something now. Church, listen to this. If there was a... If there was ever a time for church to shine, church, it's now. It's now. The world is waiting. Don't hold back. You know, God designed you with purpose. God commissioned us with special uh, calling to bring value into this world. You know, God created you to be an answer for a problem. You know, you are not a problem. You are an answer. God planned you individually to make a difference right where you are, saan ka man naroon, when you are, and how you are because of who you are and what you are. So as a Christian, we know that our identity is found in Jesus. So God planned us to make a difference. You are a child of God. You are a chosen. You are blessed, the empowered, the inspired, the strong. You are the well able, the prepared, the equipped, the connected. We are called sons and daughters of the Most High God. I'm talking to us, church, people of God. God wants you to realize that the Spirit of the Lord is upon you because God has anointed you to bring goodness to the poor. Remember yung shinare po ni Pastor Jesse? You don't need our permission to do good, to, to proclaim the gospel. God has commissioned you, mandated you to share the gospel. He has anointed you to bring goodness to your neighbor, to your classmate, to your workplace. God has sent you to proclaim the captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of God's favor, favor has come panahon na po natin. Allow natin yung light ni Jesus. Church, this is the truth. This is the fact. This is reality. You can deny it. You can reject it. You can even ignore it. But you can change it. You can't change it. Yan po ang katotohanan. You were born for a purpose and you have a mission and calling that no other person living now can accomplish. Yes, that's true. Huwag mong sasabihin na ano ka lang, may bahay ka lang, estudyante ka lamang, or ordinary ka lang mamamayan, or wala ka mong natapos. You know, God has a calling and a mission for you. Jesus said, pakinggan niyo po to, as long as it, it is day, we must do the works of Him who sent me. Sabi niya, night is coming when no one can work. Night is coming, sabi niya. And the night is coming, it's going to come into your life, into my life, and sa ating mga mga sa buhay. Again, Jesus said, I finished the work that thou hast gave us to me. Ginawa ni Jesus yung kanyang gawain. Tayo, will we work 
Will our work be finished? Matatapos kaya? Is there a quality to it? Is there a, a dedication to it? Fill your heart with God and you too can finish the work that God gave you to do. May we invest what little time we have in the kingdom of God. Church, this is our, the challenge that God is presenting to us today. <clears throat> Don't hold back. Do something now. Amen. Because the church, we was built with a mandate. This is an order, a mission to proclaim and share the gospel of Christ. And second, the world out there is longing to see the light that we carry. And lastly, the life we have is too short to hold back. Remember, tomorrow may not come. So do it now. Kung sinasabi ni Lord, sharean mo na yung kaibigan mo, yung mahal mo sa buhay, ishare mo na yung gospel, ipakita mo yung pag-ibig sa gawa mo. Do it now. Because life is too short. Again, I hope na ma-challenge po tayo sa buhay natin, mag-invest po tayo for the kingdom of God. We are building the kingdom of God. Not CRC or any other name, but the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen? Amen. So, yan po ang encouragement ko sa inyo. I know, Pastor Jesse, Pastor Jimmy, will have ano, something to say then sa message po natin ngayong umaga. Amen. Merong kanta years ago. The title of the song is Do Something Now. Do Something Now, yes. It uh, was done by um, a variety of uh, Christian, Christian artists. artists no? yes. mm-hmm. And uh, one part of the lyrics says, uh, Do you see Jesus in their hungry eyes? And then says, are you so numb that you can't sympathize? Mm-hmm. So, kasi shiner mo, di ba, that um, the at world. least we do to the brethren, we mm-hmm. do unto mm-hmm. Jesus. So, what we don't do unto Jesus, we don't do unto the brethren. So, uh, the song is asking, do we see Jesus in, in their hungry eyes? When we see the hungry, when we see the hurting, do we see Jesus in their hurting eyes? Mm-hmm. Uh, when we visit the prisoners, do we see Jesus in their <laughs> eyes, no? And uh, again, it says, are, are we so numb that we can't sympathize? No? Mm-hmm. So, you know, that, that song challenges us you know, to do something now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, there's so many walls that gets in the way of us doing something. And, uh, you know, for, for some, it, it could be young shyness, it, should, it could be timidity. Um, selfishness, things like that, that gets in the way. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I have a, um, a story um, about my life, uh, something that I did that I regretted, no? Uh, so many years back as well. I was a young pastor, and um, ngayon, uh, strict on time, but noon talagang uh, very, um, sabi natin, legalistic pagdating sa oras. Mm-hmm. And sa sobrang strict, um, I missed an opportunity to minister to, to a, a mother and her daughter. And uh, I was on my way to office. I was, yeah, I was getting ready to go back to office. I went home for lunch, was getting ready to go to off, back to office. And um, I, hear, I can hear a mother crying across the street. Mm-hmm. She was really crying hard. And then a tricycle came and she carried her daughter. Now, walang malay, put her in the tricycle. And um, right away, I knew God was telling me, like the title of your message, do something now. Kailangan may gawin ka, gawin ka. But um, one, I uh, nahiya ako, baka ma-reject ako, uh, baka hindi ako tangkapin, hindi ako pakinggan, they may not listen to me. Mm-hmm. Another thing, I was uh, so strict on time, I was more focused on getting back to church and to office on, on time, mm-hmm. rather than... Uh, meeting that opportunity that God gave me at that time. Yeah. So I didn't share to her. I didn't pray to the, with, with the family. A few days later, I think it was, or maybe just the next day, I'm, I can't remember exactly, but it was just a few days after, um, the mother took her daughter to the hospital. I saw her again, and umiyak pa rin. And yung pala, her daughter died. Mm. And um, when that happened, talaga, I really uh, regretted uh, what I did or what I didn't do at that time when God gave me the opportunity to minister. And so, you know, God gives us opportunities to minister. Yes. And um, when that opportunity comes, we don't know what will happen to that person. And so it's so important that as your message says, uh, do something now. Don't mm-hmm. hold back. Mm-hmm. Do something now. 
So I regret what I did, and I just pray that uh, there will not be another time in my life that I will do that again. And praying that every opportunity that God gives us, we will grab that opportunity and minister uh, to those people. So that's a challenge sa atin. Mm-hmm. Sa atin lahat. Hindi naman kami perfect na yes. mga mm-hmm. pastors in our, in our ways. We're still, um, we're still human and still growing in the Lord and still being challenged in many ways. And, but uh, this is a message we have uh, for us as a church, a message that is for us as well, that uh, it's time to do something now. Mm, amen, amen, amen. Yung uh, one time we had our devotion and pamagate, be the Christ. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, yeah. Pero when, when you read it, hindi, meron palang reverse side. Yeah, din reverse eh. side. Yun, Kasi yung pinag-usapan natin na tayo maging Kristo, representative of Jesus Christ others. Mm-hmm. Now, pero yung pala, yung mga taong inaabot natin, they represent Jesus Christ as well. Uh-huh. The ones that need Christ. The ones that need Christ. Kahit na hindi nila alam. Uh-huh. Alimbawa, unbeliever siya. Uh-huh. Hindi siya naniniwala kay Lord. Pero he or she still represents Christ to us. To us. Kasi sabi ng Biblia, what you do to the least uh-huh. of your brethren, you sino man sila, you do it unto him. Uh-huh. So talagang ano, challenge talaga. Kristo ka na, oh. you're representing Christ. Tapos yung pala sila rin, they're representing mm-hmm. Christ to us. So ibig sabihin, talagang tungkol kay Kristo lahat ng buhay natin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether ikaw you represent or they're representing Christ to us. Mm-hmm. So ibig sabihin, yung pagtrato natin sa kanila, we are being Christ to them. Uh-huh. And yung pagtrato natin sa kanila, the treatment itself is we're doing it to Christ. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So talaga napakahalaga na maintindihan natin yun kasi ito yung, yung scripture nito, final days to, eh, yung pinag-usapan na. Mm-hmm. In the last days, ito yung sasabihin ni Jesus, uh, you, when did you, you didn't visit me in jail, mm-hmm. sabi niya. Mm-hmm. Kasi nagtatanong sila, ba, you or know, the hospital. Or, or the hospital. Mm-hmm. Diba? So ngayon talaga naintindihan natin and mm-hmm. that uh, naalala ko nga, is Pastor Jesse shared a song Ito, ito mas matinding kanta to. <laughs> Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Walang sino man ang namamatay para sa sarili lamang. <laughs> Pero ibig sabihin, we live and we die for Christ mm-hmm. and so that others can receive Christ. Yes. Do it mm-hmm. And lastly, as we come to a close, Naalala ko, Pastor Arnel, sinare mo yung tungkol sa lighthouse. Mm-hmm. Ang sabi mo that the lighthouse points people towards Christ. Mm-hmm. Pero there's, a, there's also another purpose ng lighthouse. Mm-hmm. It, it, it serves as a warning. Mm-hmm. Kaya siya nilalagay sa mabatong lugar para malaman mo na pag dumaan ka dun, eh tepo ka, you know, masisira mm-hmm. yung barko mo. So, be, so that's who we are as well as a church, as, as Christians. Na our lives should serve as a warning. Mm-hmm. Ibig sabihin yung paraan ng pagbubu- pamumuhay natin. Yung isipin nila. Alimbawa, uh, uh, ito ilalabas ko na ito. Let, let's be true. There are some Christians that don't, their conviction is, okay lang uminom ng alak. Mm-hmm. Okay lang uminom ng beer. Mm-hmm. You know, that's okay. If that's your conviction. Kaya lang, pag nilabas mo na yan, you know, nandun ka sa nasa restaurant ka umiinom ng beer and may yung ginagawa mo nakaka-offend mm. your life is no longer serving as a warning no, pero mm. nagiging ano ka eh nagiging batuhan in destruction ikaw yung a of oh, para kang lighthouse nga nakapatay naman yung ilaw mm. <laughs> so ibig sabihin useless mm. so yung pamumuhay mo dapat maingat ka talaga eh mm. yeah. kasi what people see in you you are a tayo we are, what we do in life oh. is warning them that this is the way you're supposed to live, kahit hindi pa tayo nagsasalita. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so it's what not we, just, yes, so it's not answer. only the opportunities we have to do something, <coughs> but the opportunity is to refrain yun, yun. Exacto. from doing something that will offend people mm, and uh, not serve as a, um, as a um, witness. Witness, witness or encouragement. Yes. Iba? So there's so many ways of uh, looking at um, the scriptures, uh, lots of revelations, no? Yes. And... Um, we're going to go ahead and close, but um, uh, there's so much opportunity as well to, to do something now. Amen. Mm-hmm. Uh, begin at home. Yes. Um, 
your neighbors. Yes. Um, there's so much opportunity. So let's, you know, grab all of those opportunities that God gives us and let's go ahead and do something now. Yes. Uh, may, my final words, Pastor Nell, before we, we end in prayer. Yes. Pastor Nell, Again, final don't words. hold back. Do something now because life is short mm -hmm. and maring tomorrow, wala na sila dyan, or ikaw mismo. Mm -hmm. So while we have this life, I, ano natin, offer natin kay Lord. Mm -hmm. And again, I have this very short testimony. Uh, two days ago, the Lord spoke to me talaga very clearly. Sabi niya, minister to your group. May group kasi kami sa batch namin. Mm -hmm. And you know, nung una, I was hesitant kasi, you know, I'm thinking of myself. Katulad mm -hmm. sinabi mo, nahihiya ako mm -hmm. or maaaring baka ang tingin nila sa akin sobrang ano. But God spoke to me clearly, minister to them, pray for them. And sure enough, pinalo ko and yung mga pinalo batch, mo? sinunod ko, sinunod, <laughs> hindi ko sila pinalo, sinunod ko sinabi ni Lord. You know, yung mga batchmate ko, they were so ano, encouraged and uh -huh. some of them say, Amen, Amen. amen. <laughs> so, do it now. Amen. Yung mga salita na gusto mong sabihin sa kapwa mo, do it now because mm -hmm. maybe tomorrow ay hindi na dumating. Church, don't hold back. Do something now. Amen. For the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Let's close in prayer. Father, we thank you for this time again in your word. Thank you for 34 years, Lord God. Yes. Thank you that we can celebrate even in this manner, Lord God, because you're so good, Lord God. And we just thank you, Lord God, that you are showing us things, Lord God, um, that we need to do, Lord God, as a church. We need to become, Lord God, as a church, Lord God. Mm -hmm. and we just pray, Lord God, that you'll continue to use us as individuals even as a local church lord god to reach the lost lord god yes. thank you so much father god uh, for today lord god we just pray lord god that uh, all the listeners and viewers lord god will receive your word lord god mm -hmm. take it to heart lord god and apply it lord god in their daily lives beginning yes, at lord. home lord god we thank you we give you praise glory and honor in jesus name we pray Amen, amen and amen. God bless the CRC. RC. God, God bless, bless the Philippines. Philippines and, and God bless, bless Alonga Pole. See you next week. Yes. Hallelujah. God bless everyone.